Angular is a component-based framework for building scalable web applications. With Angular, you can build single-page applications that run in any device. This course takes you in a journey through the basic and advanced features of Angular, where you learn all you need to know to build production-ready Angular applications. As in my other courses, you are going to learn by doing. You'll build a complete application end-to-end, -end, starting with just an empty project. The app that you're going to build is a movies app, which in fact displays real data that come from the IMDB API. Some of the most important features of this app include the landing page. In here you can see a slider which has the top three movies that come from the IMDB API, and here on the right we have the top three TV movies. Down below, we have a section named Fan Favorites. In here, we display the top four favorite movies. Now, all this data that you see in here is real data that comes from the IMDB API. Now, if you click any of the movies, so one on the slider, here on the right, or one down below, you are going to be redirected to the details page, where you are going to see the movie's title, the movie trailer, a short description of the movie, the movie awards, and then you have the movie stars, the movie directors, and the movie genres. After the main information, you are going to have the movie actors, and in here we just display the top 10 actors, but if you want to see all the actors, you can just click the view all actors. After the actors, we have the movie reviews, and in here we just display five reviews, but if you want to see all the movie reviews, you can just click the view all reviews. Here on the reviews, you can just click the review, and then you are going to see the review that the user provided, and who was the user, and how many people found this comment or this review helpful. After the reviews, we have the similar movies section, and in here we just display 12 movies, and all the movies that you see in here are real movies that are coming from the IMDB API. So let us scroll up in here. Let's say you want to show all the reviews for this movie, then you can just click in here, view all reviews. You'll see that you have a loader, and then in here you have a list of all the reviews. So for example, you can open this one. You can see that it's a long review, and 8 out of 8 found this helpful. Let us go back. Let's say you want to see the actors of this movie, so all the actors, not just the top 10. And here you can see that we have all the actors, and for each actor we display a profile picture, and then we have the actor name and the role of the actor. So for example, this actor played this role, or let's say the main character or the main actor played this role. Now let us go to the home page. Here next to the home page or at the navigation bar, you can see that we have the home button, we have the feedback button or the feedback option, we have a search, we have a search button and the login button. Now if I click on the feedback option, or the feedback button, you are going to be redirected to this 401 page not authorized. And that's true because to access this page, you need to be logged in. So in here, let us go to the login button. Let's click in here. You are going to get a pop-up where you need to choose one of the options that you want to use to log in. So you can log in using your Facebook account, your Google account, your LinkedIn account, or your Twitter account. I'll choose the Google option, so sign in with Google. In here I need to provide my Gmail account, and then the password. So I have enabled the two-factor authentication on my Google account, so I need to verify that on my mobile device. And after I do that, then I am logged in 
and you can see that now in here you can see my profile picture if i click here on the drop down you're going to see my full name my email address and the logout option now if i go to the feedback option you're going to see that i get the form and the email address has been filled in by default and we are going to use this form when we want to learn about form validation or how to work with forms in Angular. Another important feature in this app is the search bar. And if I type in here, for example, Mr. Bean, and then click the search button, you are redirected to this search page. And in here, you are going to see a list of results. And here you have the first column is going to be the cover or like the movie cover. Then you're going to have the title that matches the best our search keyword then a description and on the action column you are going to see that we have two buttons the trailer button and if you click in here you are going to get in here a pop-up with the movie trailer and then down below you have the movie title and in here you have the details button and if you click this button you are going to be redirected to the details page of a movie and you'll let us search for another movie and then click the search button. You'll see that you get a loader until you have the result back from the API because all the data that you see in here is coming from the API and it's real data. So you have these results. You see that you have more than the previous keyword. So that's really dependent on how many results you get from the API response. Now in here, let's go back to the home page and then go to the profile picture and click the logout button. And you are going to see that we are logged out and you can see that we have the login button. So this is the app that you're going to build throughout this course step by step.